Welcome to the Prop Master's Handbook. Today, continuing on my police belt theme, here's how to make a fake pepper spray bottle. Materials for this prop include a paper towel roll, an aerosol can with this shaped cap, electrical tape, flat black spray paint, a hot glue gun, a D-cell battery or similar weight, newsprint, a ruler, scissors, and a pen or pencil. First, remove the top of the aerosol can. And now it's time for paint. Always be safe when handling spray paint. Use goggles and masks at all times. Paint the bottle top flat black. Back inside, cut your paper towel roll to five inches. Place it on the table and be sure it's level. If it is not, you'll need to trim the edge until it sits flat. Look at the inside of the bottle cap. If the shape blocks any of the inside space, you'll need to cut a groove in the paper towel roll to accommodate it. Wrap the tube in electrical tape. Use a hot glue gun and make a ring around the outside edge of the grooved side. Place the cap over the glue and hold it until it's dry. Use newsprint to fill the tube and leave enough space at the bottom for the battery. Use the glue gun again to make another seal under the lip of the bottle top. Place the battery in the tube and fill in the space around it with newsprint. It doesn't need to be a battery, any weight will do. The purpose is to weigh down the bottom of the bottle. Cap the end of the tube with electrical tape. And there's your finished pepper spray. This will be the last in my police accessories series. Stay tuned in the coming weeks for Doctor Strange, Harry Potter, and Star Wars. See you next time.